quit smiling and leave behind. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking onto this video. So this video is part four of my declutter series and we are going to be decluttering my skincare collection. But before I begin, I got a little speech to make. So I contacted the e-bloggers today and I asked them if they are still accepting products to sell to you guys and they said that they can only accept brand new products. The reason why they're only accepting brand new products is because of health and safety reasons, which is totally understandable. I just wanted to let you guys know because I felt like it was very important and also I'm not sure when ebloggers will put my products up on their website I'm hoping it will be in like the next couple of weeks if you guys want to keep up to date with me and my life make sure to follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories because I share quite a lot of information on my Instagram stories so yeah that's like basically my whole speech <laughs> so let me show you guys my skincare collection okay so this is my skincare Pax unit over here. I'm gonna start from the bottom. So at the bottom is actually primers and it's so cluttered and it's so messy. And yeah, I actually cannot wait to just sort all of this up because I actually don't use that many primers. I mainly use like one or two primers. So this drawer is gonna be completely empty. <laughs> this one over here is makeup remover and cleansers. So this is like my favorite drawer because as much as I love wearing makeup, I also love taking it off as well. This one is my face mask drawer, which I absolutely adore. I love a good face mask. This drawer in here is very random. It's got a bit of pretty much everything. So it's got my toners, my facial devices, my contact lens cases. It's got pretty much the most random things in here. And I'm gonna try my best to make this drawer presentable because it's got a glass front. This one guys, oh my God, my sheet mask drawer. I am such a sheet mask person. I love sheet mask. So yeah, I cannot wait to sort this out and make it a little bit more neater. I mean, it's quite like, I know it looks messy, but to me it looks semi neat because I can kind of like go through my sheet mask like this and I don't know it kind of feels like a filing cabinet. Over here is meant to be serums and eye creams and that's it basically <laughs> but it's got like lots of random things in here which I got to sort out and then in here is my face creams and sunscreens but as you can see it's literally all over the place and yeah so there's a lot of products to say goodbye to and then up here is just body care stuff so I've got my tanning lotion yeah it's mainly just tiny products up here not much and then for display I thought I would put up my body oils my body glow stuff because it reminds me to use them and they look so beautiful when they're all together as well the Sol de Janeiro is probably my favorite one because it smells so beautiful and it's not sticky either and it's hydrating as well and it's got a wide range of colors as well which I really like okay so let's start with this drawer so these products that are packaged I'm actually just going to keep the milk one because my old milk primer which is over here is quite out of date so this is gonna go away and I'm gonna be giving these away to e-bloggers. Don't need to Elemis Glow Primers. This is their new primer. Honestly, guys, I feel like Elemis has really stepped their game up when it comes to primers because it's just so lovely on my skin. And they have a smoothing version. So this is an anti-aging smoothing primer. So this helps smooth out the look of your skin. It kind of like blurs your pores out and everything. And this is obviously the glowy version, which is so beautiful on my skin. See, this one is pretty much new so I'm actually going to give this away and then I'm going to keep these two Elemis ones because they're my favorite primers. I'm going to keep the Pat McGrath primer only because it is so expensive and this is actually also anti-aging as well but this is a little bit more hydrating. It's not really smoothing compared to the Elemis one. I'm actually going to give this Huda Beauty primer away because I just feel like it doesn't do much for me. I mean it's a really nice beautiful primer but it's just not for me. I'm I'm gonna keep this primer only because it's a drugstore primer and I don't think I have much drugstore primers in here apart from this makeup obsession. I'm actually gonna give this away because I've realized that putty primers are really nice but it's not something I would gravitate towards because I do really love my Elemis anti-aging smoothing primer. I just feel like this works really well for my skin. So yeah, this one's gonna go, but this one's I'm gonna keep. Speaking of putty primers, I do have this e.l.f. one. Oh my 
my god this has been um very well loved so i am going to keep this going to give away the diego de la palma this is a bronzing primer i believe going to give away my dior primer it does nothing for me oh my god i love this primer now that i've seen it i actually really want to use this like in my next makeup tutorial this is the nars tinted glow booster it comes in different colors as well so if you're much lighter or if you're much darker there is a shade for you it looks like a foundation but it's not a foundation so it's basically a very nice glowy primer i'm gonna do a swatch for you guys it's so beautiful it's not like a chunky glitter primer it's like a proper glowy primer it just makes your real skin look really nice and healthy and it's just so gorgeous look how natural that is it's honestly so 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 stunning i love it so much so yeah this is like one of my top favorite primers going to keep the fasali hydration bay because one is expensive and i did get this through pr it is a really nice hydrating primer i don't really use fenty primers so i'm actually going to give pretty much all of them away because I just, I don't know, I just feel like the other primers that I've showed you guys work better. I do love Fenty, but these primers are just not really for me. I do really love this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer. This is more of a skincare product. It's really nice on the skin. It's like hydrating and it's got good ingredients in there as well. So I am going to keep this. <gasps> oh my God going to keep this oh this is basically like a no foundation foundation product <laughs> it's really beautiful on the skin and it also helps blur the skin as well and give you a very nice glow so it's basically like a two-in-one it's very weird to describe like it blurs but it gives you a really nice glow it's so gorgeous going to keep this for days where i want to be super matte this is so crazy good for people with extremely oily skin going to say goodbye to this morphe primer going to say goodbye to this makeup revolution xx primer going to say goodbye to this tinted moisturizer from laura mercier going to say goodbye to this estee lauder illuminator primer so this is the kvd primer packaging is so 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 nice and unique it's so cool um, this is a really nice hydrating primer but i just don't use it and it deserves a better home oh my god if you love glowy skin bobby brown primers are so lovely so this is like an illuminating moisture balm this is so lovely but this is just not my color bare glow so i'm gonna give this away i'm gonna give away the smashbox primer this primer is amazing but i just don't use it same with this maybelline primer as well gonna give away this gonna give away the huda beauty primer i actually forgot that huda beauty does primer wow this Givenchy primer it says mister because it's meant to be for men but makeup is for everyone so hopefully they change their mindset on that this is meant to be like a blurring primer but this is so out of date i don't know if you guys can tell but it just helps like blur out the skin a little bit so out of date oh my god uh, going to keep this the milk makeup blur and stick oh my god i think milk makeup was probably the first brand to do this i'm not entirely sure after milk makeup was launched so many brands tried to copy them if you know what brands i'm talking about then you know but yeah i love this product going to keep this because again i don't have that many drugstore primers so i'm going to keep this this is the revlon prime plus mattifying and pore reducing this sounds really good oh i really like this primer so i'm going to keep this, this is the nars smooth and protect primer and it's got spf 50 in there which is super handy oh my god this is the primer that i want to show you guys so this is the shade golden glow the bobby brown illuminator it's so lovely on the skin i love it so i'm gonna keep it okay so let's talk about this steeler primers this one over here the colorful one I was honestly mind blown at how well this worked. Now, I'm not a huge color corrector person because I personally feel like I don't really need color corrector compared to other people, but this is a not so very pigmented color corrector primer. So let me show you guys actually. So when you squeeze it out, it comes out already mixed and it looks really dull the color because it's like a gray but once you blend it into your skin it kind of like corrects your skin really really well it's i don't know it's a really unique primer it's honestly probably one of the best primers and i would recommend it for any working makeup artist because if you have a client and they got a little bit of like discoloration on their skin this can really help just balance it out and you won't necessarily need to use too much color corrector concealer so yeah I really like this uh, unfortunately it's out of date though 
but yeah, I do recommend this though. It's so gorgeous. Oh, okay, so we got the Bear With Me NYX primer. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna give these away, the Laura Mercier primers. Laura Mercier is honestly one of the best brands when it comes to primers because they just specialize in base makeup. This is old, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this. I'm so sorry. Oh, Kevin Aquan. Oh, I need to try you out. I didn't even realize I have this. Oh my God, I feel so silly. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. So this primer, Prima Vista, I think I got this off Yes Style or Amazon, I'm not entirely sure. I think this is, yeah, this is a Asian brand. I think it's Japanese. Yeah, it's a Japanese makeup brand. This is so mattifying. It is so, so, so good. And I love this size as well. It's not too big and it's very lightweight. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm going to give away this Glam Glow Primer. This is basically like another putty version, but they kind of made it into like a compact. Just don't use it. So I'm gonna give this a clean and give it away. This is amazing. Twee got me into this. This is the Flawless Filter. It's like a primer, but it's not a primer. It's like a foundation, but it's not a foundation. It's basically like your second skin, but just a glowy version. And what I love about this product is that it comes in a don't fit applicator. So it's really, really handy. Absolutely obsessed with this product. And yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm uh, going to keep this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I really, 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 really like this. So yeah, I'm gonna keep all of my mini primers. I'm gonna keep all of my Fasali primers because I just feel like Fasali is just a bomb brand. They're so good. And yes, I have two of these Unicorn Essence primers. I, I will be finishing them soon, I, I will. And then I think I'm gonna put my drugstore primers all together. That way if I ever wanna do like a full face of drugstore makeup, I know I can rely on this section over here. I think over here it's just all gonna be like glowy primers and then these two corners would be like mattifying primers because I have a lot of glowy primers because I'm such a big fan of being glowy. Oh, and I've got this Illa Masca primer as well. I'm gonna keep this because I don't have much Illa Masca products. And this is my drawer. Oh my God, it's so much clearer. It's so much neater. I feel like I can breathe. Oh my God, guys, I need to tell you something. So when I was doing my makeup today, I was like, oh, I can actually go through my drawers and see everything. And when I opened up my drawers and was able to pick out which makeup products to use, I was like, oh my God, this feels amazing. This feels so good. It feels so good to just see everything so neat, so tidy, so clean. Everything is visible. Nothing is on top of everything. Uh, even though my lip collection, I think I might need to do another declutter of my lip collection because when I opened up the new drawer, I was like, all of you look the same. So I might need to say goodbye to some of you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I just felt like saying that because it feels so good when you have something organized. It kind of makes you feel like your life is organized. So I highly recommend in tidying up your clothes, get rid of old clothes and all of that or getting rid of like lots of makeup or whatever or even if it's getting rid of like lots of shampoo girl I don't even want to start with my shampoo and conditioner collection so this is the makeup cleanser and cleansing drawer lots of cleansers but I don't need all of them so yeah a lot of these are gonna go this is a yes I'm gonna keep this is the Elizabeth Arden ceramide cleansing oil it's so nice at taking off makeup and as you can see I have used quite a bit so I'm hoping to finish this in the next few months that is my goal oh my god this is so nice it's Tony Molly green tea foam cleanser super super nice but I just don't use it um this touch art the rice polish this is new never been touched they're gonna be giving this away this is really really nice this is the too cool for school egg mousse cleanser i'll show you guys oh look at that it's such a nice creamy cleanser i actually need to get more of this and it just feels so lightweight on the skin but it also feels really nice and creamy oh my god it's honestly such a beautiful cleanser so too cool for school is actually a korean skincare brand creamy cleansers are extremely popular in Asia. So yeah, this is a really beautiful cleanser. I love it so much. A brand new package face mask. Going to give this away. Uh, we got an oil cleanser as well. I actually finished, funnily enough, all of my Tatcha 
oil cleanser. So this is really handy. So I'm gonna keep this. Love Alia skin, love it. So I'm gonna keep this. Nude sticks does skincare now, which is not really a surprise. So Nude Sticks is basically a brand where it promotes natural beauty. So their makeup is very lightweight and soft, and it's just a very natural brand, really. And they do skincare, and I'm really interested in knowing how it goes because I really do love Nude Sticks makeup. Frank Body cleansing oil, love Frank Body. Oh my god, Frank Body. Oh my god, probably one of my favorite brands that I have recently discovered. Such a good brand for skincare, and yeah, I love this. Uh, I'm going to give this away. Did I use this? Oh my god, please tell me I didn't use this. Oh my god, I did use it! Why is there a massive dip in there? Okay, I'm gonna like give this away to a family member because if I see another oil cleanser, I'm gonna scream. I'm going to keep this Charlotte Tilbury makeup eye remover because this is just so good. And did I just say makeup eye remover? I mean eye makeup remover. Um, I love eye makeup removers. Even though I have cleansers, an eye makeup remover works way better at taking off your eyelash glue and your mascara and your stubborn eyeliner so yeah definitely gonna keep this uh going to give this away this is the kills facial cleansing soap uh going to give this away the full fray am to pm gel cleanser because i just don't use it uh i think i've almost run out of this i'm gonna try my best to finish it this is the elemis superfood cleansing foam i love this cleanser the Shiseido cleansing foam this is such a lovely cleansing foam i love it and it's just so lightweight on the skin so i'm actually gonna keep this I'm going to give all of these away because I just don't use it. This is the Filorga travel kit and Filorga is a very, very, very good brand. But I just don't use it, so it's best to give it away. Oh, the QMS cleansing gel. Uh, do you know what? I really want to try this. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. I'm going to try this out. Uh, this is out of date, but it has been very well loved, as you can see. I'm uh, going to give this away, the vitamin E eye makeup remover. I'm going to give this away as well. This is the Evelyn Rose Luminous Cleansing Balm. This is so out of date. Oh my god. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Cleansing Balm. Okay, so all of the products back here. Oh my god. I have completely forgotten that I have all of these products. Wow. And they're all eye makeup removers. Ling, what the hell is wrong with you? You need to use your products, girl. I've got some mini cleansers, so I'm going to try my best to finish these. Look how cute this little exfoliator is. It's from Tony Molly. It's so cute, but I'm actually going to give this away to one of my nieces because I feel like they'll have fun with this. Okay, so time to organize. I'm going to push all of my eye makeup removers in this corner, actually. That way I can see them and I can use them oh my god i feel so much happier now this is so much more clearer and organized oh finally okay moving on to my face mask drawer now okay so this is my face mask drawer oh my god okay this is like the heaviest drawer so i'm gonna have to be very strict and get rid of a lot of stuff this is out of date, but this is new, so I'm gonna keep this. This is one of my favorite face masks. This is the Shiseido Wazo Purifying Peel-Off Mask. This is really nice and hydrating. I know a lot of people don't believe in peel-off masks, but for some reason, this peel-off mask really works well for my skin because it hydrates it rather than dehydrates it, as a lot of other peel-off peel -off masks do that, but this is like the opposite, so I really love this. Uh, gonna get rid of this, gonna get rid of this. Uh, we'll keep one of these. I'm gonna keep this Alia Skin Pink Purifying Clay Mask. I love Australian pink clay. It's really good at days where I'm breaking out. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this brand before. It's more of a mature brand. This is a brand called Algonist, and this is very good at fading hyperpigmentation. It is so strong. I'm actually gonna use this tonight. It's a very beautiful face mask. It is quite thick and oily, but it does absolute wonders to the skin. Really love this. I'm gonna keep this. This is a super expensive face mask. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna force myself to try it this week. Love this Origins face mask. I love Origins skincare actually. It's so good. Um, I have all of these Glam Glow face masks that I haven't used and they're all out of date, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye to it all. The Peter Thomas Ruff face masks are gonna have to be given away because I just don't use them. This is one of the first luxury face masks that I've used to help clear up my acne and it did work, but it does take a while to see differences within your skin. I love this face mask. I think this is a new one, right? Oh no, it's not, okay. 
It's not a new one, but I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try my best to finish this. I'm going to keep this face mask. This is the Boja face mask. Boja is a very interesting brand because in Asia it's very affordable and in America as well, but in England it's like triple the money and I don't understand why. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm uh, gonna say goodbye to this Kills Avocado face mask. I'm going to say goodbye to this Fresh Black Tea face mask because it's out of date. Uh, gonna keep this. I love this face mask from the body shop. I'm going to give this away it's packaged it's gonna go this is gonna go this is gonna go uh oh no i love the ode henriksen hydro clay detox mask oh my god these are so good because uh, they're minis i know i'm gonna finish them real soon I'm going to say goodbye to these products Going to say goodbye to this product. Going to give this away. This is the Boja Peel Off Black Face Mask. Going to give this away. Oh my god, I am going to keep this. Elizabeth Arden, amazing, 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 amazing skincare brand. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Gonna keep this. This is a Shiseido Moki face mask how cute i'm actually gonna keep this and maybe do like a cute little tiktok or something oh i've got lots of cute minis in here i should be able to finish all of this <gasps> i just found the fat glow facial oh my god oh my god okay i'm gonna try this to use this and finish it <laughs> the papaya enzyme face pill love this an interesting product that i want to talk to you guys about is lush so i have an at-home face steamer and you can actually buy these little pills. Well, it's not really a pill. It's like a, um, I wouldn't say medicinal. I don't know how to describe it. It's one of those things where you pop in the pot uh, where you turn on your facial steamer and it just releases this type of aroma. I actually don't like it. I actually like to just have a really nice normal face steam because that alone is enough to make me feel clean. <laughs> so yeah, I am gonna keep this and I'm probably gonna make my boyfriend experience this. The reason why I didn't like it is because it's got these little bits in it and it just kind of blocked my face steamer unfortunately. But um, apparently it's meant to help clear out your skin and everything. I don't really see a difference, but I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things where you've got to keep doing it in order to see a difference, you know? Who remembers the e.l.f. magnetic face mask? Look how gross I am. I didn't even clean this properly. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? And then we got some Summer Fridays. Wow, I need to take care of my stuff properly. The lid wasn't even on properly. <laughs> okay, gonna keep these because they're just so bomb. And then we got the Tarcha face mask. Now, I stupidly opened both of them and I stupidly used both of them, so I'm gonna have to give this away to a family member. All right, let's start organizing. This is the fun part. I think I'm gonna put my minis over here and then just work my way around. <laughs> oh, how perfect is that? It just like all fitted all together, so cute. Okay, so this is the best I could do. I felt like the best way to organize it was through kind of like a color coordination. So ignore these two. So I put like the white Whites together and I put like the blacks together, the greens, the purple bluish, the lighter purple I guess I can say and then like neutral colours. It was the only way I could think of to you know have a home for these products and then I just thought maybe minis could just go in there. Well, actually I guess I could put my mini Ole Henriksen's in here so it's a bit more neater. Oh yeah that looks so much better now. Okay oh my god now we're onto this drawer. Wow. Hello baby girl. Hello. <laughs> You're so fluffy. Look at your tail. It's so fluffy. Oh, look at you, your cute little face. She turns one today along with Kilawa. And um, it's not Coco's birthday today, but we're going to say that it's Coco's birthday today because, you know, don't want him to feel left out. <laughs> okay, so I think the best way to organize this drawer is to literally take everything out because it's it's just a it's just one of those drawers that just has everything. Originally, this was meant to be like a toner drawer, but I became lazy and just began to just put anything in there. Also, look who joined us! Oh my god, look at that little face! Okay, don't mind my toes. <laughs> so let's just take everything out. Oh, I've got jade rollers in here and all sorts. Like, why do I have so many facial tools? I don't know why. Ah! 
Okay, so it's finally clear. So I'm gonna put this mini suitcase right there. How adorable. I have two of the fresh black tea kombucha, but I'm gonna keep the big one because it's engraved. I know my name's not Katie, basically. Fresh got my name mixed up. I know, I know. Basically, they thought my actual initials, KT, was my name but it's not <laughs> it stands for something cow so yeah i'm gonna keep this and i'm going to give this one away i'm going to keep both of my shiseido lotions because this is just freaking amazing it's so hydrating as well it's basically a skin softener so i'm going to keep these and try my best to finish them off before they go out of date I'm going to keep the kopari rose toner and the ole henriksen toner as well this is the oil control toner uh, i'm excited to try this because this is a coconut rose toner coconut rose toner that literally sounds amazing this right here is by foreo ufo this is basically a skincare device i've used this many times in my instagram skincare videos it's so good you basically put a sheet mask on here there's like a custom made little sheet mask that foreo makes and you have to download an app on your phone and it connects and what it does is that it specializes a facial for you it's so cool it's probably one of the best facial devices that I own so I'm going to keep that in there some more toners which I'm going to keep I think I'm going to put these back here and then I got lots of little mini facial devices let me know if you guys want like a video on what facial devices I use this is one of my favorite facial devices I don't know how to say this brand Sensica I think that's how you say it this is to help prevent aging around the eyes and the jawline love this Okay, this drawer is pretty much done. So let me just show you guys what's going on. So on the floor, these are some of the products I'm gonna be giving away. Some of them are out of date as well. Oh, gonna keep this hand sanitizer. Okay, so change of plans. I actually realized there were a lot of products on the floor that I wanted to keep. And then when I was trying to organize it all, I realized I had to like readjust everything. So let me just go through everything that I'm keeping. So this is the little, oh my God, Farah made me get this this is one of the suction thingies it's one of those things where you put on your face or on your body and it's basically uh what it does is that it helps with lymphatic lymphatic drainage it's really interesting i just got it because i i just felt like i was just very curious and you can get them on amazon i mean i recommend doing as much research as you can i just got it because i was intrigued and i wanted to learn uh, this over here is my kit this is what i use when i do a face steam so all of these is to help extract my blackheads and uh, all of that gross stuff that's deep within my skin all of this is my facial tools this right here is my fancy jade roller it's basically made out of i think it's um some sort of silver it's very heavy oh my god it feels amazing on the skin so yeah this is the brand i found this product as well this is the sensica base gel so i put this on first and then i go ahead and use this this is to help make my skin look younger basically <laughs> and yeah so i basically just maneuvered things around because i felt like it needed to also have you guys tried this toner this is the paula's choice exfoliate it's got two percent bha i have been seeing this product literally everywhere i'm not joking guys every time i go on youtube whenever an advert plays this always shows up and i swear i see it like 10 times a day and i'm not gonna lie it's kind of annoying so let me know if you guys have tried this i would love to know what your experience was like it's got salicylic acid in there so it's really good at exfoliating the skin and getting rid of spots and um, it says it's made for all skin types whenever a brand says that it's made for all skin types i'm like how how are you made for all skin types but yeah let me know time to organize the sheet mask drawer okay so i don't know why i have this many sheet masks i i'm just a sheet mask freak i love sheet masks i also have like sheet mask for your hands as well okay so i just changed the view so that way you guys have a closer look of what sheet mask i have because it's going to be impossible for me to talk about every single sheet mask so if i like pick up a sheet mask and i don't talk about it at least you guys can see it so a lot of these cute sheet masks i'm going to give away to my nieces because it's obviously very fun and very cute um, i'm going to keep these two sheet masks actually these are the Jinju Beauty Sheet Mask. Um, all sheet masks are made in Korea. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep these. I need to make a pile. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna give away this. I'm gonna give away this. 
uh, gonna keep this, I got this in Japan. It's basically like a thick pack of like sheet masks. I think there's like five sheet masks in here. And um, it says number one on there, so I'm presuming it's a number one sheet mask in Japan, I don't know. Oh my gosh, Shizodo does amazing sheet masks. So the sheet mask that they have is the retinol one. If you are looking for anti-aging products, definitely check this out because this will make your skin look so glowy and fresh and plump. I'm gonna keep this, the glow recipe sheet mask. Uh, gonna say goodbye to the sunflower sheet mask. Uh, this is a booby sheet mask, but I'm gonna give it away. A sheet mask for your bum. Honestly, brands will just do anything just to make that coin. <laughs> uh, love Celista Beauty. I love the sheet mask brand, so I'm gonna keep this. Oh, got a sheet mask for your legs. Oh my God, I didn't even realize. Okay, I'm definitely gonna try this out. Oh my God, one on one skin. This is a premium skincare brand. Their products are insane. Literally love it. So I'm going to keep this. Going to keep this. Going to keep this. Going to keep this. Uh, going to give this away. Going to give this away. Give these away. I'm basically going to give away a lot of the Hollering Glow because I feel like, because they're such fun, colorful sheet mask. I feel like, honestly, my nieces are just going to have fun with it because they're fun and colorful. Change of angles. Okay, so this right here, oh, I will finish all of these sheet masks. I know I'm gonna use them all up. This is the Celista Beauty sheet mask. Honestly, the best. If you're looking for a super duper duper hydrating sheet mask, definitely check this out. I mean, each package has 25 mils to 30 mils of serum, so. That's a lot of product, which is gonna go directly onto your skin. So if you suffer from really dry skin, I definitely recommend checking them out. I'm gonna keep the Foreo because I have my Foreo BFO. I'm gonna give this away. I'm gonna keep my Givenchy sheet mask. I've actually never tried this. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna make sure I try it. And also this is so expensive. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I'm going to keep the Shiseido Retinol Eye Mask. Oh, honestly, Shiseido is just the best brand when it comes to skincare. Right, I'm literally just gonna like speed through this. I'm gonna keep that. Right. Give away, give away, give away, give away, give away. Keep, keep, oh my God, this. Eye mask is insane from Sarah Chapman. Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, I'm gonna keep. Oh, my lips are super dry, so I'm gonna keep that. Give away. Keep. Keep. I love the Wishful skincare products. Uh, I'm gonna keep a couple of like hand sheet masks. They're super handy. Give away. Oh my god, literally giving away all of the fun, cute sheet mask. Give away. Keep that. I love sheet mask for your feet. Now this is the one where it hydrates the feet. It's not the one where it like peels all the dead skin off. I'm not, I don't think I have the patience for that. Look what I found. This is so adorable. Gonna keep that. Oh, uh, I'm gonna keep these. Love Hello Kitty so much. Gonna keep this. I got this from Japan. This is a Japanese brand called Haki. I think that's how you say it. Super cute. <sighs> right, I'm gonna give away all of these eye masks because I'm just not gonna use them. This looks incredible. I'm gonna try. Ooh, okay, gonna keep that. Gonna keep that. Love too cool for school. Away. <gasps> oh my God, you have no idea how happy I am to find these. I love Patrology. Oh my God, these high mask, amazing. You really do see a before and after. Gonna keep some eye mask. Honestly, sheet mask is something I actually genuinely use. I know it's very hard to believe because I look like I don't use them, but I do, I promise. I'm gonna give all of this away. This is the mask bar no strip. I don't think these actually work, you know. Okay, wow, well, I got rid of a lot of sheet masks. I'm very proud of myself. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just tidy things up. Oh, I got a pair of socks in here. Okay, so this is what the drawer looks like. So these are all the sheet masks and in this makeup bag is actually the eye mask, foot mask. It's basically sheet mask, but for certain areas of the face. And then I'm using my Givenchy box to help hold everything up. So it kind of feels a bit like a filing cabinet. I can just go through what sheet mask I want to go for. And then over here are my boxed sheet masks. I put the Shiseido one at the back over there because I felt like, because it's um, the type of sheet mask where, you know, there's a number one and a number two. So that's how it looks. I just thought, you know what? The best thing to do is probably just to keep them in the corner away from all of this in case it gets messy and lost 
first. So yeah, this is my sheet mask drawer and now we are on to probably going to be the hardest part is this drawer because there's just so many products in here and this is basically meant to be my serum and eye cream drawer but I got random stuff in here like this. This is like hair dye. Why do I have hair dye in here? I don't know. <laughs> Let's begin shall we? Let's start off with the top products up here. So this is the Esper facial oil. Oh my god I really like this. I really want to keep it. I'm going to keep all of my Shiseido skincare guys. I just love Shiseido skincare. It's honestly the best. I'm going to give this away. This makes my skin feel funny. It's meant to be like a CBD cool stick. It just honestly I don't like it. It just makes my skin feel so weird. It's meant to like calm me and if anything it made me more irritated. Obsessed with this Bobbi Brown eye cream. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of this blue light. I'm going to give this away even though I've used it. I'm just going to give it away because I'm not going to be able to finish it. I just know it. I'm going to give this away. The Glam Glow eye cream. I'm going to keep the Tatcha eye cream because this is so lovely on the skin. It has like a um, luminosity. I'm going to give this away. The Lush eye cream. I'm going to give this away. The Fisali eye cream. Honestly the reason why I'm giving away a lot of these eye creams is because I'm just not going to be able to finish it all so it's best to just give it to someone who is going to use it. So I'm going to get rid of this CeraVe, this Elemis, um, this Caviar Lime, and I'm going to keep the Givenchy and try my best to finish it. I'm going to give this away. This is out of date, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this. This is the Origins Genzing Serum. I did a video for them, and I was um, in their advert as well, which is so crazy. Uh, I haven't seen that advert, unfortunately, but a lot of you guys have, so yeah, I'm going to keep this. What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. I Why have I not used this? Oh my god. Okay, I am definitely going to try my best to finish these up and use them. Wow, this is the Elemis Cellular Recovery Skin Bliss Capsules. Oh my god, this is a day and night antioxidant facial oils. Oh my god, I love facial oils. I'm gonna try my best to use this. Okay, so we've got the Origins Mushroom Lotion. I love this. Going to keep these actually. I love these products. I love Helika Helika, it's one of my favorite Korean skincare brands and they're also really affordable as well. I am a huge, huge, huge huge fan of Elizabeth Arden as you guys can see but I can't finish it all so going to have to give them away also this 111 skin eye cream is insane it's so hydrating and honestly I just can't describe how great this eye cream is it's also got diamonds in there as well which I know sounds very dramatic and over the top apparently diamonds can help make you look younger I don't know how true that is honestly it just sounds crazy but from my own personal experience I have seen a slight difference underneath my eyes it's less gray it's more hydrated honestly probably one of the best eye creams I have tried so yeah I'm gonna put this over here right which Elizabeth eye Gardens capsules am I going to get rid of? Oh my god, there's so many to choose from. Okay, I'm gonna keep the retinol because retinol is a very good product to help with anti-aging. I'm going to keep one of the ceramides and give the other away. I think I'm gonna keep both retinol because I know I'm gonna go through that. Vitamin C, oh my god, gonna keep that. Love vitamin C. And I have another vitamin C, so I'm gonna give this away. Oh my god, how am I gonna organize this? I honestly don't know. Right, gonna give these away because I already have this. <laughs> gonna keep the ordinary products. Oh, gonna keep my 1 1 skin products as well because I love them. Right, gonna keep a couple of spot treatment gels because they're very important. Gonna keep a couple of full throw products because I have gotten rid of quite a few, so I'm gonna keep a couple. Uh, oh my god, look how cute this is. This is the mini Ole Henriksen moisturizer. So cute. Got some collagen serums as well from QMS. Right, I need to figure out how to organize this. I don't know. I'm gonna give this away. This is the Drunk Elephant Oil. I'm gonna keep this Glow Oil from Sunday Riley. I'm going to keep this as well. This is really, really good. This is the UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. I'm gonna keep the Givenchy Oil. Okay, I think these I'm just gonna donate. I'm just gonna have to donate. I'm gonna say goodbye to this fresh rose hydrating oil and serum because I already have one. I'm going to keep this. Apparently this is really good for the intimate area. Uh, goodbye. Bye. 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 
goodbye you're going to have a much better home goodbye this is amazing this serum is so good but it's so out of date this is the clearly corrective dark spot solution if you have hyperpigmentation this is going to really help fade them out and it feels like it's not working because it literally feels like tap water on your face sorry but i'm going to be real with you all but over time it does work so i'm going to get myself a new one because this is absolutely insane it's expensive but i feel like it just really really works i love it so much okay i'm going to keep one of the drunk elephant night serums all right guys you ready to see this draw oh my god it's so nice and clean well it's, it's clean and tidy and neat <laughs> so what i've done was i put my eye creams over here and then it's kind of like serums and stuff like that over here dedicated area to elizabeth arden it just quite naturally happened all of this over here is just all serums oh my god i better finish all of these serums you know by the end of the year and then i got a couple of spot treatment products as well um and then got another serum it's quite big so i left it at the back and then these are my facial oils oh, oh my god i feel so much better and i got some space over here as well and i plan to not fill it up with anything so yeah that is done and now we are on to the moisturizers and the spf all right guys i hope you're still with me i really want to try beauty bay products i really love beauty bay and this is their moisturizer so yeah i'm gonna give this a go i'm gonna give this away a lot of these products are gonna go oh my god obsessed 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 obsessed, obsessed. i can't even say obsessed properly <laughs> love this night cream uh give away glow hub such a cute brand uh, gonna keep this give away give away gonna keep going to keep love this wishful product oh my god i completely forgot that Asari does a gel cream so i'm gonna keep this and give it a go <gasps> love this product so much this is the wazo shizado moisturizer so 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 hydrating it's like a gel like formula so it doesn't feel greasy at all oh gonna keep this i feel like tea tree is one of those things that you just need in your skincare collection it's very good at getting rid of spots and yeah <laughs> oh i don't have much florence skincare so i'm gonna keep this oh, oh my god i'm gonna keep this <laughs> sunday riley so expensive i'm uh, gonna give this away it's a lovely moisturizer but i just need to make space for everything i'm gonna give this away this javonchi face cream I'm gonna give this glow hub moisturizer away as well the drug elephant i'm gonna give that away i'm gonna keep this love estee lauder skincare honestly estee lauder is one of the best anti-aging skincare brands i'm gonna give this away I'm gonna give this away give that away is this meant to be really liquidy i'm not entirely sure but um i'm gonna research into this because this, this is meant to be like an amazing product i'm gonna give this away Okay, I'm gonna give one of these away because I don't need two. Uh, this is out of date, the La Roche-Posay SPF 50. So a lot of the products I'm saying goodbye to are actually genuinely good products. It's just that I just need to make space for a lot of things. Like these products, La Roche-Posay and Murad, oh my God, amazing product. But I, I just, yeah, I need space. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give this away. This is horrible. I hate this product love Espa. oh my god Espa is such a underrated brand i'm gonna keep aloe vera because you never know when you need it i'm gonna keep this this is the heavy Kawika watermelon moisturizer i'm gonna give this away uh, let's see i don't like this product <laughs> i'm gonna give this away oh my god guys i just found my p louise eyeshadow base i've been looking for this high and low why on earth is it in my skincare drawer i don't know i'm uh, gonna get this away okay so i just went ahead and quickly color coordinated everything so everything looks nice and neat and it just feels so good to just open the drawer and just not see things on top of each other like i know it's a lot of stuff but um it's just so good to see things so nice and neat so over here is like yellow and orange these two are meant to be like white <laughs> and then over here is like all pinks as well and then over here i have like a purple dark blue and then <laughs> sarah v could only fit there unfortunately so it does look a bit awkward but oh well at least it's like organized uh, over here is like greeny blue so yeah everything looks so amazing i definitely prefer color coordinating skincare products as long as it's in the right section so this is all moisturizer so it makes sense that in the moisturizer section they're all color coordinated okay so now over here 
Oh my god, I hate myself. I hate myself so, 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 so much. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Got some tanning mitts, which I'm going to clean. Oh my god, look at this massive face halo. And no, this is not meant to be for your face. This is meant to be for your body. So uh, one side is like a gentle exfoliating fabric. And then on the other side, it's like super gentle and soft. Nathan is obsessed with it. He loves it. I like it too. Uh, but I do prefer to use a, lo a loof or loaf. I don't know how to say it. But um, yeah, <laughs> this is going to go into the washing machine. This is meant to be a tanning roller. I haven't tried this yet, but I am going to. So this is the Jo Malone body cream, but unfortunately it's out of date. Uh, the Body Shop Banana Cream. Oh my God, this smells insane. Love this product. I'm actually going to leave this out because I just feel like I need to use this more often. So I'm actually going to put it right next to Penty Beauty. My favorite body lotion. Oh my God, the Laura. Mercier body cream guys is insane it smells delicious so because of how high my drawer is my tripod can't go any higher so I'm gonna have to like film this quite awkwardly I'm so sorry guys but I just found some package uh, Saint Tropez products and I love 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 Saint Tropez so yeah I'm gonna be giving these away to be totally honest with you guys this drawer is gonna be a bit boring-ish so these are all of the products that I am going to be getting rid of for instance this mosquito anti repellent body shop banana cream we're gonna say goodbye to the Joe Malone cream this cream oh my god you know what as much as I love the sound of this cream it just smells horrible uh, I'm leaving my Laura Mercier cream out so I can put it in the bathroom to remind myself to use it this is packaged so it's gonna be given away never been used so it's gonna be given away um, I have two of these so I'm gonna give this to like a close friend and this is how the drawer looks so nice so much neater I can see everything Thing as well and if you're wondering what's inside this box it's basically one of those LED um, face mask and yeah love it so it's gonna go in here oh my god guys here's a recap of everything oh my god yes so much neater yes oh my god I'm so happy oh, love it I'm so proud of myself <laughs> This drawer, I'm not entirely sure. I think I might redo it and reorganize, but it will do for now. Oh my God, wow, love it. Love it, I'm so proud of myself. And I still have space as well. Oh, this is probably my favorite organized drawer out of everything. And then we have the body care. Oh my god, I look so rough. <laughs> are you guys still with me? Are you guys still watching this? Because if you are still watching this, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so, so, so much for watching all of my declutter videos. Honestly, I didn't expect so much positive responses and I didn't expect anybody to like watch them. So just know that I'm truly grateful and I'm so sorry that I sound like this. It's really late and I'm so tired. <laughs> I just want to say a really big thank you for just sticking by me and just watching all of my videos. Like honestly, for like, I'm literally a nobody. And the fact that you watched all my videos, it just means a lot. I do plan on doing more declutter videos because you guys like them. And I obviously want to make videos that you guys like. And surprisingly, filming these types of videos, I prefer them than filming makeup review videos because it's decluttering. It really helps with my anxiety. And with everything that's going on as well with the pandemic and everything, cleaning, decluttering, reorganizing is something that I can control and I just get so much pleasure from it. So I do recommend in you guys doing it as well. It's not really a declutter video without seeing my cats. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just like, get happy, mother. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, just to remind you all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>